Okay, and we're live. Okay, can you guys hear me in the chat? Hey, Demon. Okay, so uh, let's get started then. Uh, today we're rising from the ashes, just like uh, Phoenix. Uh, we lost so much. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we got some good advice. I had heard this before about uh, doing the skin bark. Oh, he's, they said do four pieces or a four by four. Cause that's three by three. Yeah, someone said do four spaces out with skin bark. But if they if they meant like that, it's a lot. But that could prevent the animals from attacking. So I'm just going to remove that. It's it's worth a shot just seeing if uh, skin bark works. Doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. So we'll just get. I'll have to put those inside. Because I was thinking, I don't really have to, like, go back here anymore. And Laura is so, so good at farming. It's better to do that blocking thing with small trees. So how does the blocking thing work? Because... Back here, I can. I've got space. I can fit some small trees in too. And this is all lots of brick fence. Well, partially. It's just I can't get around a wall of trees to get to your fence. So how many trees thick do I do it? Well, I'll try a combination of both. I don't know if I have small trees. I just have big evergreen trees. Just one but long. And the evergreens wouldn't work. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this as well. It's just the wood fence. And I was thinking I'd put Ken on construction as well. Well, Quinn can handle it. I'm gonna need a lot of wood, I guess. So, I'll work on cutting that. Getting those cut. Hey, JC. Well, I guess I'm assuming the 
the bark is uh, it's just naturally very tough. I think he was. I think he the the person who mentioned that was sign something. He said four spaces. And basically, it's free. Like, I just plant it. <laughs> yeah, no demons being good so far. So, uh, welcome everyone who's watching <laughs> if you've noticed we've had a little bit of a disaster oh hands on heat thanks so much Ryan. yeah I love pizza yeah thanks for uh for the tip so yeah, I'll just get that farm built. I'm not worried about being able to like walk out here. Or the or the critters haven't haven't uh I mean ideally I would like the small guys to get through at least. So maybe I'll just try to trim this. It'll be kind of an experiment, so like... I'm not sure if they can fit through there. Oh great, extreme... Oh, it, it, it is extreme this time too. 44 degrees. So these are turned off. I wonder what uh, I would get for scrapping those. I think it's just metal. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, well, <laughs> I saw that you wanted me to keep going, Jonathan. I thought, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I, I I don't have any bricks. Oh, a cargo pod. I need Quinn to... I need everyone doing things. So we had like one disaster of an attack, then these flying bugs attacked soon after. It's it's a really tough episode. But I was looking for a challenge though too. Crane so, got injured? Was that that was last time. So I should make sure I have... I'm going to have to make sure I expand the cotton as well. And potentially just start growing some more in here. So I'll get uh I'll get Katina to get some wood. I'll send Ken over here. And then Yoko can get some bricks going. Do 
Jonathan says it's easy, fun when things are going great, not so easy when they're hard, shows courage, yeah. What? Yeah, in even these disasters, it, it provides something interesting. You know, because things were getting, were going too easy. So I guess all of these are baking. So wow, they're doing a really great job. I mean, we still have some areas fenced off. I guess what I could do is add another fence here. That would at least keep things. They should at least go to the, go to the front still. So she has to go and get some, get some sticks. It would be great to really test out these uh, natural fences though, because that would save so much resources. You don't have to worry about repairing it or anything. Like, actually, when I do another playthrough, I would love to just try to go all natural walls or fences. Like, you can't do it in the beginning. You got to do, like, a little bit to protect yourself. But eventually, just try to figure out what's the best natural defense. I can't do much about that food. Oh, these are turned on. Maybe the... I gotta fix that. Or I'll just uh, put the freezers onto to none. And the freezer's not working anyways. Good thing we have those pickles. Yeah, I don't know how long we'll last, but I think we can potentially keep on going. Just going to have to uh, manually kind of guide them. Okay, so I can get that brick wall done, and I think that'll seal off the base, almost. Still a gap here. Well, no, this part's sealed. So, I'll get the wood, and then I was thinking I could potentially sca scavenge that for some electronics. I'm surprised our grid is still pretty good. So I may as well remove those for now. Because I have so many other things I've got to fix first. Oh, welcome back, demon. What kind of tea did you get? Oh, we need... Well, oh, he's gonna go and eat. Oh, he's so tired, too. Well, he should just sit and relax. Okay, what's Yoko doing? 
She's got to go and get some sticks. Oh, right. Need a bed. Yeah. Uh, I had temporarily deconstructed one because I had no bandages. My base was destroyed. They destroyed all of my storage. So one, two. No, I built the bed back. Huh. So where, who was sharing a room then? Oh, it's in here. That's right. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for spotting that essay. Yes, so much was happening. So, I mean, we're getting the bricks. Get my sticks. Just need a lot more wood. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, guys. Uh, I wonder why I couldn't... Uh... I guess I can build it, so he may as well build it now. That's why he was so tired. I wasn't even, didn't even notice it. No, oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Okay, maybe he should just uh, sleep for a little bit. Okay, I'm doing okay for food. Yeah, I'm going to get Laura to start planting the skin bark now. So I guess her food really bounced back. If that had have happened in winter, though, I mean, that would have been... We could have hunted uh, animals, I guess. But that would have been so challenging. <laughs> now look at a solar flare. And Laura does not, like, I guess she did plant it all, okay. Okay, and then get this one. So what's Quinn? Hopefully Quinn can get a meal. And Ken's crafting medical stuff, so that's great. And then we should be able to get some antibiotics too. Yeah, so we're bouncing back with that. Yeah, Quinn's got to relax. Um, I wonder who else can uh, do some farming. Maybe Yoko. Yeah, I'll get her to do the planting. Oh, wow. So, okay. <laughs> we can, we can deal with this. Uh, we have 
no turrets. Let's get Daniel to relax. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Michael says, hey, guys, I've made one discovery about this silly game. Hard mode is hard. <laughs> Especially we we make like mis <laughs> uh, mistakes. Okay, so they're they come in. So I guess I'll let Daniel kind of relax. Yeah, if we have a hole anymore, anywhere in the defense, we'll find out soon enough. I'm just going to bring Daniel over here just so I can make sure. Because these guys are not going the right direction. <laughs> you don't, don't give up already. Uh, why are they going this way? So I guess they're going to squeeze by somewhere. Okay, better... Oh, they could get around there. So... Yeah, I'll just move Yoku, Yoko up there. These are just hatchlings, so... But yeah, there's 50 of them left. And uh, these guys are all dealt with. So once that gate goes, let's hope it's down to like 20 or something. And <sighs> Can you stand right there, Daniel? And you would think that after this, Daniel would want to wear some weapons. <laughs> hey, Douglas, things are things are going well. Okay, so yeah, like that area was. So now we have eight, and where are they? Are they all around there? Okay, so they're just attacked. And I'll get... Ken to hunt them and Yoko. Yeah, everyone has laser pikes. Except Daniel. Why are you staying so close, Ken? I better just draft him. Yeah, everyone has uh, laser pikes, so. Oh, Quinn must have lost his. He did have one.
Okay. So we survived that. And we got some more meat. Insect meat. I guess 25 each is okay. Yeah, so we really needed that one wall, wasn't... <laughs> Everything was there too, they just had to finish it off. I want to get Yoko plant in there. Well, I just figured the, the pikes were like a last resort. just one planted there or... I think she uh, planted stuff there oh yeah I better keep my eye on Quinn eat a chef steak tachyon source And then play some darts. Yeah, maybe it's just like a weird shape where stuff won't grow there. At least my 3D printers weren't destroyed as well. One's broken. So I'll get some parts there. And did Quentin go to sleep? Yeah. Well, last last episode they destroyed everything, all my supplies, all my storage things. Okay, you'll get your code to plant that. Skin bark.
So I'm not worried about this area. I should get those repaired. Oh, I'm missing resources. Yeah, so I guess I'll need some alloys as well. So that'll be for the next day. See if any ore fell out up here. Well, we're rebuilding slowly, but surely. Now we can get that brick fence built. So we're just short 28 bricks. That's not too bad. Get uh, Yoku on that. Oh, we got some cotton up here. Oh, I guess I'm fine with cloth. Wow. So I'll just cancel that, actually. Man, we really stocked up on cloth quickly. It's like too much cloth now. Yeah, so that fence is done. It's great. Yoko can... Where is she? She's over there. She can just hold us back. Yeah, we'll need, we have plenty of silicon, so we need to fix these machines if they're... Keep electronics prioritized. So it's just the metal alloys I'm short of right now. So let's get... Make sure that's prioritized.
So I guess I can just remove this field. It should still grow. I'll just test that out. Yeah, hopefully the roof is fixed. Yeah. Okay, so they're still growing. Uh, the brick is the be is the best fence you could get. But I'm I'm planting this skin bark around there. It's supposed to uh, help deter the bugs. So yeah, th they're still growing, so I think that's fine there. So I wonder if I can just ex extend this. Could build some on the inside. Wow, that ore just disappears. Oh, Daniel needs needs a break. Michael says, sort of like planting marigolds with your tomatoes. Yeah. I assume they're just like just really tough to damage potentially, I'm not sure. But as long as I keep my people away from there, it should help as well. I did need to build one of these, I think. Because I want the farming completely protected. Okay, now we gotta send people out to... I send... Queen and Ken. Yeah, it's just going to take a while to get things fully built up again. Yeah, he's going to relax now.
I should start getting some metals. Yeah, I'll get the turrets, but I need to get my energy grid up first. I wonder if... Uh, so, Daniel can repair that already. So, he'll just repair one, I guess, and then... Well, he should just go to sleep. He's gonna have a breakdown. And hopefully they set that. Nope. Because I'm, pr I'm practically out of power. So she's going to have to wake up. Yeah, so that won't take too well, too long. We'll get 30 there. And then I'll have all of them doing metal. Joe Wessler says, you could build a couple of generators for the time being and only take scrap and fuel. Yeah, I guess I could do that too. Oh, I never researched it. Well, anyways, I should just build a regular research table. Is a solar flare anyways, I guess. It wouldn't matter for the turrets, but... Oh, we scavenged a lot of... of scrap metal now. And hopefully this is all metal. Yes, yeah, good. So we'll have like 60 metal in the morning. The devs must live in Iceland or something. 22 doesn't sound like a severe heat wave to me. Yeah, the heat wave things are kind of uh, not, not working well. Even like 30C in Canada, it's not the end of the world. In Ontario, it gets, gets humid. Okay, so he's getting these things all fixed up. Uh, I was, wish you would have used that to Repair the turbines first. I wasn't paying attention though.
Oh, infection. Crane, why don't you repair turbines? No, Daniel's gonna go do it. Okay, so I can research. There, the diesel generator. Well, I'll just let them fix that stuff. Okay, here, here's five Juno. Oh, and Katina is like right there. Can she carry that back? That's that's way too risky. <laughs> She's going to have to do a wide berth. What are these guys doing? Still missing resources. Oh, it's electronics. That's why. So I guess like nothing's really working because the solar flares. So I guess uh, Quinn fixing that flamethrower was worth it. Okay, so, so what exactly? So 110 streakers. Uh, I think it'll be okay. The unfortunate thing is that we're down two flamethrowers. <laughs> no, I, we'll be okay. Because uh, they'll take the Juno out. It's just three Juno left. Okay, I'm about to tell them to okay, go for the guy who's deadly. So they're being slowed down by the other guys in front of them. Okay, now you guys aim at him. Okay, there's only 79 streakers left. Yeah, well there's a solar flare as well, so nothing works. I was hoping to get the everything up and running, but nothing will work anyways with that solar flare thing.
Okay, I'll get Quinn to go deal with this guy. Okay. The trusty old flamethrowers. Yeah, why is he butchering? Oh, to do the set the traps again, I guess. Okay, forty-five alloys. I want to get these three D printers working. But the solar flare is still happening. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Okay, the solar flares are done. Now, potentially, I can... Not enough power, so I got that diesel generator done. Just put it here for now. The scissor hands butchered. I think they're worth it. Yeah, that's okay. to get rid of the lights for so I'll need a couple of these things yeah I'll see what three does I need to power those 3D printers. So I'll just power one 3D printer off for now. And then this switch is working. So I'll put these on circuit five again. We'll get those built, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna need some more fuel, so... Oh, he's incapable of butchering as well. Okay, so we have a surplus for now while it's daytime. Okay, what's Katina doing? Okay, so that's already started. Get some electronics going. We'll start getting things fixed. Hopefully they'll use it for the right stuff. Oh, we scavenged two CPUs. That's awesome. Hopefully we can scavenge some electronics as well.
Wait, oh, Daniel. Daniel can't do anything. I guess uh, Quinn can do that. I could actually, uh, like... I'll build it, like, way out here. that guy we probably yeah we need the meat as well so that's good okay we're probably or oh, still doing okay with uh fuel Uh, don't they attack fortified fences? I'm just testing something that, like, that won't take long to plant. Something that they won't attack. Because eventually I'm not going to walk back here anymore. I'll start doing expeditions too where I can get metal and scrap and... Gonna start uh, uh, smelting some of the scrap. Should start putting Quinn on some of those. It's crazy that Quinn's combat is only five. I guess with the sniper, you just don't get too many shots off. But I should get him just doing some nearby expeditions, get some scrap. There's a fuel thing as well. It's 21, hour, 21 hours though, so. See, I'll just get Quinn doing this stuff. I'm kind of low with fuel, but hopefully They're fermenting insect meat. So I'll get, I may as well get these, oh, that guy's not being butchered. Two Junos. Oh, indifferent skills can only go up to level six, okay. So he's scavenging scrap metal and power cells. That's great. Yeah, before I know it, the winter will be here. I'll want to get stocked up on uh, sticks as well. Oh, nice, meteor rain. I think I'll do some hunting too, because I don't have a ton of meat. So 
See, that's what I like about this idea because it's just so easy to to plant. So I'll let Quinn relax and then I'll send him out. Let's see how far that uh, thing is, though. So cargo pods, 10 hours. It'd be awesome to find another survivor. <laughs> uh, well, I've heard of, I've heard about for a while that these plants will stop animals from attacking. It probably in, they're not inclined to attack plants. Uh, the skin bark, I guess. And I'm thinking it probably affects their line of sight. I've heard it a few times. They still haven't done anything to... It's just one electronic. I guess they're repairing, like, the fridge or whatever, the freezer or whatever. Finally getting some medals, at least. I have to keep my eye on this. Okay, let's see what happened. So it's all sorts of crates and spilled resources scattered around. So we really stocked up quickly on our medical supplies. Uh, we're okay for food. It might be an issue with clothing. Yeah, I have no extra clothing, so I'll do that. Now can Daniel repair? Gonna have to uh, turn a couple of these off and see what happens. We'll just leave them sit, sit there. So, probably gonna run out of fuel soon, yeah. So, the next trip, I'll send him to the, the fuel place. Yeah, I'll send them straight away to the fuel tankers. It's 21 hours to get there. So I think this is all... Oh, it's not done yet.
Yeah, I can't complain too much about Daniel. He's always working. I guess I could make a uh, fuel. Yeah, I could prioritize this. We have so much uh, cloth now. So I'll get Ken doing that. Make a bunch of fuel. Scrap metal and a big container of liquid fuel. So is that completely done? Yeah. I think we have like way too many mush. No, it's it's the beef berries. I guess we don't use them much. But we use them there. Do they make pizza in this one? gonna have to like put that one right up there should be careful with that thunderstorm There, that'll prioritize the beef berries being used. Yeah, we're getting back there slowly but surely. Got some trees planted. And what how much uh, fuel? You must have got a good amount of fuel. And that's all turned off. And we should get another attack soon.
Yeah, those batteries are going to drain. Okay, take a break. Good, bring that stuff back with you. What's the problem with the storage? Oh, it's for the meat. Yeah, I guess oh, we have so much so much grain. It's really good though, because we we kinda need the grain. So I'll just ferment. Do I have any pickles? Yeah, tons. So I'll do L until a hundred. Leave that one. Yeah, I think I'll probably start doing the snipers instead of having Yoko with the pistol. I have one sniper rifle. Unless it got destroyed. Yeah, it get, did get destroyed. So I need guns too. Man. Okay, what's that? So it's two brood mothers, so. Wow, look how close. They're, are they going to instantly attack the walls and then invade? I, that's, rid that's ridiculous that they're so close. Oh, so there's actually like uh, four brood mothers. See, I need some plants there, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. Are they going to come in the house, in the base, and just destroy everything? Like the one corner over there where, where it's not protected. I have to get them around here because Laura's getting too close. I wonder if I can come here and kind of guide, get them to come down this way. up there wow they're just gonna go through the walls again okay they're being pulled down Can you reach those?
Oh, the bird mother's attacking some other animals. That's just their key. Did they break through? Yeah. <laughs> but, well, man, that guy's taken on a brood mother. They don't seem that deadly. Yeah, these won't last there. Oh, I got a little too close to that. So we got some more stakes. Yeah, they just shot right through those plants. So I'd have to build like all around here. Because they can get around here no problem. And I wonder if my guys can walk through those. Yeah, they can. So that'd be awesome if I can just walk through that. Which I can. So it doesn't really matter. So what am I building? Am I building the right thing? At least doing this where defenses are the weakest and I don't want these guys coming in all the time. But I'm assuming the small bugs can walk past this as well. It's just supposed to deter them. And we'll see if it works or not. So I need more bricks. Man, these things are never going to get repaired.
What's all this stuff? Just scrap? Okay, look at that stuff. Someone can get that. Where's the animal migration? Okay, winter's here, so I'll get uh, these furnaces started, the heating stoves. I think I have enough power to. No, I. I don't know if these are even working. Yeah, they're all malfunctioned. Okay, go and build, go and repair this. Try to turn this one on. Okay, get that set up. Because these probably need electronics. Yeah, three just to repair it. Oh, nice. And it's warm enough inside. Okay, shooting star. Yeah, I'll check out that. Uh... Well, I don't want to go like if it's too far away. So I still have this one to finish scavenging. I don't think I found one gun from scavenging these things in this playthrough. Which is kind of strange. So I think this field is all done. See, so yeah, I can rid of that Okay, just oh I said four in, insufficient, then it jumped to nine. Can you guys fix that? Okay, Daniel's doing that. Make sure their clothing's okay too. So Ken can do that.
Can he repair that yet? SA says you can build a battery room out of that nano stops so they can restrain more damage. Yeah. Yeah, what do the Daniel walls even uh, cost to build now? Oh, it's just one alloy. But that would be great to put to redo some of my walls. Because 500 integrity. Because some of my walls are just 100. They're stone. Yeah, that'd be like. Well, it would make. Now that it's winter. I can actually redo my walls here. They'll be more energy efficient. What if I can do like the carbon roof? It's for allies though. But I can start with, if I deconstruct that, I'll lose my AC, I think. Yeah, it's going to do the AC as well. But that'd be just nice to see. I think it would look cool too. Because losing all my food in the freezers would be really bad. And I guess I'll just get Ken to do that. I never actually used the walls before. It's been kind of interesting to see what it looks like. <laughs> it looks uh, futuristic. Yeah, JC, sometimes the bots just don't show up. Thanks for moderating, though. It's always good to have an extra pair of eyes, just keep it, keeping an eye on things. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it <laughs> looks kind of weird. Because I wonder if they'll attack, like, the floors, which would be a super weak point but at least this will help us uh, keep the cold in yeah Daniel can melt down it's okay Okay, all the windmills and just one battery left to repair. That took forever. Oh, nice. Eight brood mothers. Yeah, if if the brood mothers are so deadly, why is this guy still alive? <laughs> yeah, guys, if you want it, if you want to. Uh, Join the Discord. The link's in the description. Everyone's welcome to join. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. So we have 77 scissor hands and 8 brood mothers. We still didn't uh, butcher that one.
Here they come. Those brood mothers are getting too close. Ah, uh, no, don't move there. Uh, that's so dumb. There's pause too. Okay, go back up there. Where's, where's Ken going now? No, go back up here. There he is. That brood mother's way too close. But she's knocked out. Oh, the... Okay, that went well. So next episode, we'll see just how well these uh, skin bark does, if anything. Thanks, Joe Whistler. Yeah, I was even... I was wondering if I could even make a comeback. I uh, was still struggling. We can't really do expeditions and things. It's really hard to keep metal alloys and electronics in stock. I'm hoping, like, that someone finds, like, 10 electronics or something. We're getting a good amount of uh, scrap metal. Thanks, Load Smasher. Because the, the goal of this playthrough is just kind of... I really want to see, like, massive attacks against the, the base here. And that last battle with the Broodmothers, I don't think it really went that well. Because they were kind of just directly directly moving forward. So I kind of would like to have like just a, a fence coming out here, but uh, potentially. 
so that they'll have to like just walk around. We have the bricks to do it. Cause what's my range here? Because even if it was like Juno that were here, they just went straight up and threw this in no time. Oh, oops. More scrap metal. Got 600, so. Miss will use it. <laughs> this is kind of crazy, though. It's like I'm using uh, too many traps. But it feels better having that uh, that fence up there. I never I didn't change these either. <laughs> you got the. Uh, Go to minus 10. The nice thing too is that my streams haven't been uh, uh, glitching up or anything. So I hope it stays like that. Okay, I'm probably short on okay, just metal alloys. That's not too bad then. Are they just doing bricks? Oh yeah, I need ore. Get Yoku Yoko to do that. That's about all I can send out. Can't wait for the next update for this though. 
it'll be interesting to see what they add to it. Because this game is already so polished. They must have a bunch of content they're working on. Like, I don't think it'll take them too long to fully re release this game either. It's probably like a year or something. Like, full release in a year. And then maybe do some DLC afterwards. Because it's a pretty solid game already. Yeah, so... I'll just up the scrap. Oh, pneumonia. I want that up there. Just keep one, one of those constantly going. JC says, I'd like to see bigger windmills maybe or double production windmill tech. Well, they, they do have carb, uh, carbon wind turbines. So they do have that already. I, ha I started with that technology once on a on like a test playthrough. Uh, Demon says it might be more bug fixes. My game froze at year 47. Year 47? Well, I saw your, your bases look pretty awesome. Oh, so you said a bug, bug report even, but still freezes. Well, I don't know what the improvement for the carbon wind turbines is, but the car, or sorry, it's the graphene solar panels are three times better than the originals. So the, so the gra, I think it was carbon wind turbines is probably like three times better. I think they could work on improving the expeditions. It's a little too much RNG. And they could add a lot more technologies, things like that. But I really hope they, they add assault rifles. Okay, so they're off doing that stuff. We have a ton of meals. Just get Quinn doing that. Daniel may as well finish that off. Oh, I guess, I guess I do need Ken like just crafting all the stuff. So I did get that T-shirt done. Oh, and she lost her weapon. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to do. So that's just two CPUs and two power cores. So on one of them, I'll get this set up. Make sure I have two in stock. Two CPUs in stock. No, two of these. Yeah, I really have to get weapons. Cause I don't know how like, they're all going to run out of weapons soon, so... That's the priority now. I, I don't want to go back to uh, bow and arrows again. Oh, what's Quinn doing? Oh, he's, he's resting now. Okay, so we need that one power cell, then we can 
craft that sniper. Well, I need the... I desperately need the gun. Because Yoko doesn't have a gun. So this one's doing electronics first. This one's doing... Uh, uh, power cells. I have nine CPUs, so that's okay. But I desperately need the, a gun for Yoko. And then all the other guns are almost breaking as well. Yeah, well, these things have to be fully grown before they deter animals, apparently, so... And they're not going to grow until spring, I guess. So where are you, Ken? You can get these guys. And then Ken should be crafting. Should be crafting that sniper now. It's going to take a while. Uh, Joe Whistler says, I'd like to see them implement vehicle production. If they're able to build generators, they can definitely build a space buggy. Laugh out loud. Greenhouses would be nice too. Yeah, greenhouses would be great. Yeah, that's my, my first thoughts when I was playing the game. Having like a, a small little vehicle would be great. Or even like wooden carts, so you could haul stuff back. Okay, let's see what this is. So 200 Scarabai, the easy ones. Oh, 28 fully grown scissor hands. And the explosive Scarabai, they've got a lot of hit points too. 40. Yeah, the scissor hands have 100. So. Yeah, and Yoko has no gun. So hopefully my my turrets remain functional. Oh, JC says automated farming machines. Yeah, like like automated production on stuff would be really great. I mean, I could work Ken through the night, but he's not going to finish that. Uh, so what's a crossbow do? It's 25 meters. So I could get... Can Yoko craft a short bow? It's better than nothing. Douglas Shaver says it's a good thing they made it to where you can make the guns the game really would be hard to play yeah uh, so <laughs> Yoku's not gonna get that bow made well, I guess Yoko can she can't, she's no help anyways, so she can just sit there and make her bow. Wow, they're moving, well, I sped it up. No, they're, that's regular speed, they're moving fast. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so when those uh, explosive scare blow, blow up, they affect everyone else too. Or they damage everyone. Wow, that's... That's a lot. <sighs> Good thing I made those, uh... Those traps. Let's see how far they make it. Okay, down... Got a hundred down, so... Yeah, right here, it's like a tower defense game. Are those the small guys? Yeah. Okay. So where's this guy? actually get Quinn to deal with them. No, that's fine. Okay, so that was pretty good. Yeah, bug soup. Oh, we got 300, 340 liquid fuel. That's good. Yeah, there's 28 of those full-grown scissor hands. We need Quinn just to stay on that sniper rifle. Well, I should probably uh, end the stream here. It's almost two hours. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's so much more fun when I'm live streaming this game. And I didn't know what to expect. Wow, that was a, that was a huge setback having you know half the base destroyed, all the supplies gone except food. Uh, JC says I think the flamethrower should have to be refillable, rechargeable. Yeah, you have to re refill it. That's why I built some gates back here, because you do run out of fuel. Hey, Andres, haven't seen you for a while. Uh, it's good to see you here. We're, we're just, we're just ending the stream too, Andres. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks, Demon. Yeah, I, I mean the flamethrowers in some ways are overpowered but sometimes your automated turrets are knocked out because of solar flares so it kind of balance it balances out because if you had no defenses you know you you would you die so easily just with a solar a solar flare thanks load smasher oh, I didn't know I say that uh can like Quinn. <laughs> it's hard to pay attention to everything. Oh, you're sick, Andres? Well, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, a spaceship crashed. Spaceship debris. Okay, JC. Enjoy the football. Uh, thanks for moderating. Okay, everyone. Good night and take care and thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. It helps so much. Uh, thanks for watching, Joe Whistler. Okay, guys. Uh, see you later. I'm